Okay, so let this boot up. Um, I really like how I got this going. We use um, M Player in boot up to display this GIF. It makes it really slick. Um, after that, it displays. Um, we uses FBI to display just a blank black screen. That way, we don't see the console or any of the other Linux modules loading. We just go straight from the spinning Pi to the uh, the Pippany browser. The Pippany browser boots in app mode so it doesn't show any of the title bar and that's how we do the HTML5. It also uses a Python WebSocket back end and it feeds the browser what images to display. Um, the Raspberry Pi Model 2 and my other 10 inch is a lot quicker at loading, booting and everything and uh, since the Model A doesn't have very much RAM, it's a little slower. But there you go. Got nice hot temperature on the back of that Pi, 85 degrees, which is a lot because I'm laying it against this uh, other screen that's against my computer. So it's late tonight. Um, I've got 20 seconds, I think, every time it changes images. Let's pull down my iPad. The, the great thing about this is I can... Actually, I don't want that. I want Chrome. I can change the image from my device. Oh, you can see my reflection. Smile. So it's the... You can see it's the same image. Mm -hmm. Um, it's as if it were the frame. Right now, the the Pi or the 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 uh, iPad is loading, buffering all the images on the frame. Because it it knows it's not the frame. The frame has a special special spe special URL it loads. But you can see they're about the same. I can even load it uh, in the background on this uh, on the desktop. So. All of them are the same. It's great. Tap the screen. We've got all the images on the pi, on the pi frame. And we can select them. And I can. I'll zoom in there. I can show on frame, rotate, and remove. I haven't yet added a upload button. I'm working on that. Um, but. Let's see if I can, we're going to change it back to, oh, you can see I've got that one upside down. I'm going to change it to the spider. Let's see if I can do this with looking through the camera. All right, I'm going to hit the spider. You see it just changed um, on everything. Let's go through here and see if I can find a upside down, an upside down one. There it is. So let's rotate that. 180 and that, these are all WebSocket oh I must have hit 90 or something WebSocket messages oh I did hit 270 let's go 90 again to the WebSocket server uh, keep going the wrong way anyway um, I like how slick this loads. It, lo it, it rearranges itself based off of your image size. So if you load it on your phone, it'll it'll load and shuffle the right way. It'll. Um, I'm gonna. I, I'm uploading this to GitHub, so whoever wants it can get it. You can see it's just just snazzy. Um, there, I'm in, I'm working on this config button. You can configure the time between images and whether it shows the clock and the temperature and a couple other things. Um, 
I really like this better than other methods. I tried Pi Game, I tried FBI to do, but none of them really did layering. Couldn't show real time data. I think this is the best way to do a clock. My brothers mentioned QT and QML, which I haven't looked into much, but sounds promising because it does web sockets as well. But I think this is the best way to do it with web sockets and either making a web app or an actual device app, phone app, Android app, whichever. Um, let me know if you have questions. Thanks for watching.